What's going on everyone on this wonderful platform, love and hate? Thought these scissors were stuck in the box. We got one, two packages in the mail today. You're probably going to be hearing the dogs drink a lot of water because we just got them playing at the park. I'm going to try and knock this video out quickly. If you have not subscribed and you are watching this channel and you're not a subscriber, just let you know, my name is Brandon. I do fitness videos, I do diet videos, I do sneaker videos, I do workout videos, I do vlogs with me and the wife, I do sporting events, I do a bunch of stuff, a bunch of random stuff, political topics, <clears throat> pretty much everything over the grand scheme of life. Today we're going to do a sneaker unboxing, and if, like I said, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to watch some of my, I got these, feel free to watch some of my videos and kind of catch up on who I am and I would appreciate you subscribing. For those of you that are subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Story on these, I got these on the Sneakers app. The Sneakers app is S-N-K-R-S. -S. They actually flipped this box around a little bit. Normally on Jordan 11's, I believe the pull tab to get them open is on the bottom, or on the top, excuse me. So here we have size 10 and a half. Love this box. Black and red are easily two of my favorite colors. I normally don't wear I can get this dang thing open. I normally don't wear bright stuff like this, but just got done working out. I, well, not just, I worked out today, so um, sometimes I work out, I guess. So there's the top of the box. I don't need that anymore. Bada bing, bada boom. Jordan 11s are the most complicated things to unbox, but I do think they're pretty cool. I think it'd be better if sneakers just sent you stickers. That'd be way better. Okay, these are. Way better than I thought online, honestly. Let's see what number's on the back. 23's on the back. I did not know that. I haven't watched many videos of these because I feel like people really haven't gotten their hands on them. So here you have the Win Like 96, I believe. Get out of here. Um, dogs are crazy. Win Like 96. I remember whenever these were unreleased and people were going crazy about these. And quick story, I worked at the Nike store and a guy came in with these. Now, if you remember, I worked at the Nike store in the summer, and I believe these were still rumored to come out, and there wasn't official looks at them. And I got the guy's shoes, and I was like, you know, man, I'm not trying to be weird, but can I please see those in my hands? Like, I just like the shoe. I love red. I really wish, by the, they're probably about to fight, so if my dog's fight, I'm sorry. Hey, come here, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come here, you wanna say hi to the camera? You want to say hi to the camera? You're going to fight him, aren't you? Yeah, she gets, she's a, she's a Rhodesian Ridgeback. I don't know if you can see her. And he's a black mouth curse. He's like a real lovely dog and she's just super protective. You like these, Leo? Like these? Say hello. Say hello. Oh, you're going to chew them. All right. No, they're crazy. Okay, so I'll just, I wish they would have done the milky bottom like they did with the 72 tens, but they didn't. They went with that like Eskimo icy blue bottom, which whatever it is, what it is. Um, got that red, got the jump man, that carbon fiber. These are authentic. A lot of people have been buying fake shoes and doing reviews on them, like Jokers. We got that leather on the back. I wish this was leather, but it's patent leather, which I feel like patent leather is just saying, hey, we put plastic on your product and call it patent leather. So that's it. I mean, you've seen these. They're nothing special. They weren't limited. Uh, retail was like $220. Um, I'm not going to box that back up right now. I might not be able to show you everything in this package because I believe it's a gift for somebody that I got Secret Santa for. So they already know what I got him probably. That kid is so good kid. And a lot of y'all have these, I think. They're a great pair of shoes, but I want to show you the other thing that I got in here. Yes, it came in. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to show you that. You know what that is, you know what that is. Put those aside. Look, so Alyssa and I, the wife and I, leave to Tennessee on Friday. Lily is pouting over there because I'm not playing with them. Since we leave to Tennessee on Friday, it's going to be snowing. We leave for our honeymoon for a few weeks. I believe it's 10 days total, so let's call it two weeks. And then we go to Denver as well. We plan on snowboarding and skiing, and I've never been skiing. I've never even seen real snow. I guess you can say I kind of did the other day, but... Texas, I don't think that's real snow. So, <laughs> I got this off of bait. 
it took them forever to ship it, but the snow sucks, and it's by reason. Uh, see how this looks? It's be a real on head look. Think it looks good? Um, I hope it does because if not, I wasted 15 bucks. I actually got on a deal with like eight bucks. The shoes I got on a really good deal. Um, use Bait. Bait is a great website. They have a lot of stuff. I really, really like Bait, and they do great deals. And shipping is like five bucks. Oh, also, I'm gonna be trying to cop Boost God merch tonight, so we're gonna see how that works out. Um, th this is pretty much it. I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can. I don't really wanna intrude on Alyssa and I's privacy too much over this week, but we're gonna see how it works out. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos, and I'll catch up with y'all later. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. <laughs>